Hey everyone, I recently read that the elevated carbon dioxide levels can lead to a decreased cognitive function, which is why it's a good idea to ventilate your space. Well, naturally I had to make a device to monitor the CO2 levels in my office. Here's what you'll need. A CO2 sensor, temperature sensor, microcontroller, a PCB, voltage regulator, a USB-C connector, a couple of resistors, and some wire. It's easiest to program the ESP32 before assembling the circuit, as it'll be a little bit more difficult after. And don't worry about copying the code, I'll link the GitHub repo in the description. The circuit itself is not too complicated, and the diagram is also in the repository. The assembly took a while, since it was my first time working with a rework station. I found the keys to wait until the board shifts a bit into the position after the solder paste melts. Soldering the pins is easy with the right amount of flux. Hygiene, very important. The rest of the circuit took a few more minutes to solder together. It's not the prettiest, but it should work. Since the temperature sensor is located very close to the rest of the components, it'll be affected by their heat. So it won't be useful to get the absolute value of temperature, but its main use is getting daily trends of the temperature fluctuations. Final check if the orange light on the MHZ19 is blinking, that's a good sign. Next step, deploy the InfluxDB on your computer or a Raspberry Pi. Just make sure to give it the same hostname as you specified in the ESP32 code, otherwise you won't be able to connect. The steps to deploying the database are also in the repo. This step requires your Pi already has Docker installed, and I'll link a tutorial for that below. Once the setup is complete, you should be able to log in with the username and password specified in the YAML file. In the InfluxDB interface, go to Explore, Main, Office, CO2, and hit Submit. 
You should see a graph similar to mine after a while. You can also configure options such as color, shape, the form of the graph. Click Save As to create a widget in your uh, dashboard. Then repeat the process for the other parameters, so temperature and humidity. After a few hours, you will see something similar to this.